Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown from Adobe, and I'm pleased to announce today the release of Generative Expand here in Photoshop on the iPad. Check it out. I'm selecting the Crop tool. Then I can merely slide the Crop region like this, and over here to the left, select Generative Expand. In this case, I'm going to not put in a prompt. I'm going to have it evaluate the image and generate the expanded area based upon the image itself. The results look fantastic. However, they could be much better because I can increase the detail in this image if I use a super user tip and technique that I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to undo that expand. Then I'm going to go back to the crop tool and this time I'm only going to expand one portion of the image at a time. For example, here I've selected the left hand side of the image and I'm going to only expand and focus on this area only for better quality in this case, which will be clearly seen in the lines here of the star rotation. Wow! Let's continue the project and expand over here on the right. That looks fantastic. Let's do one more generative expand right here at the top. Selecting my button again and selecting Generate. There you have it. I've now generated three different sides at a greater quality of the image, and I've not lost detail in the star rotation. A great new feature now available on the iPad, Generative Expand. Give it a try.